Hello everyone, this is Shrikar here. Uh, in the next part of uh, building a photo inspiration app, uh, we'll be building uh, this UI for the application. So the final application will look something like this, wherein there is a table view and we have an image. Along with this image, we show some metadata about what kind of camera they used, what was the ISO they used, what was the shutter speed, focal length, and the type of lens, if uh, which one they used. Um, also, you can see that at the bottom we have this blurred image, blurred uh, visual view, which gives a really nice effect. Um, uh, so let's see how we can actually uh, build this uh, UI. To get started, um, this is how the final uh, uh, main storyboard will look like. Um, but we will build it from scratch now. So first thing what you need to do is uh, drag a UI table view controller. Um, then go to video inspector and then select ease initial view controller. Then with this table view controller selected, uh, go ahead, go to editor, then embed in navigation controller. So this is how the initial screen will look like now. The next part what we need to do is we need to customize this UI table view cell. So uh, select this uh, table view cell, give it some good amount of height, like let's say 225 should be fine. On this uh, table view cell, drag in an image view from the object library like this. With the image view selected, um, go to this uh, pen button, uh, unclick constraint to margin and select these four constraints to be set. Add four constraints. With this image view selected, again uh, go to the <coughs> attributes inspector and um, uh, select uh, aspect fill. Also clip sub views. Now, uh, with this uh, UI table view selected, we need to create a custom uh, class like a photo cell. Um, and like if whatever um, UI elements we have, we need to like uh, create IB outlet for all of them. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new file, new file. Um, it should be a Cocoa Touch class, hit next. And it should be a subtype of, oh, hold on, cancel. And Cocoa Touch class hit. So it should be select the IOS source Cocoa Touch class and then hit next. It should be a type um, subclass of UI table view cell. Let's call it photo cell. And uh, create uh, the file. Uh, in my case, I have already created this file, so I'll just uh, show you. So this photo, uh, if you go, if you open the photo cell, we already need, uh, we have uh, all these out outlets which we need to create from the existing photo cell. So what we can do next is um, open up the main storyboard. Let's drag in a visual blur view and create it like this. Let's give it a height of, let's say, 75 align it to the your table view cell bottom um, click on the pin button and click this uh, constraint to margin select these uh, three pin uh, constraint buttons and with the height of 75 add four constraints also with this um, visual uh, view selected visual blur view selected go to the blur style and make it as light the next thing what we need to do is we need to add a, a few of the UI labels like the one for camera, lens, for focal length, shutter speed, ISO, so on and so forth. So let's drag in a label. With this label selected, let's say it as camera. Let's change the font to 15. Uh, hold Alt then drag no. drag the label similarly we need some more for ISO and one for shutter speed uh, 
you can adjust this using the arrow uh, hold the alt again we need one more here also oh you know what actually these things should we can just change the type to system type and make it as caption one so that they're smaller we don't need really big labels for that Alt, one more this similarly hold out align it to the end okay so that's right aligned and art here so let's call this thing as ISO uh, this thing as shutter speed the next thing what we can do is we need to set up the auto layout constraints for all this uh, let's call this thing as focal length let's see uh, let's select this uh, camera this can be lens uh, with this lens you can actually click on this lens and say command equal to so that it's adjusted the size to fit now with this camera selected uh, click on the pin button let's give it a constraint of 8 and 4 8 to the um, leading and 4 to the top of the super view add to constraints then just say click on update frames here it's properly selected that's good so with this select uh, with this lens selected again uh, click on this actually you know what let's move this thing a bit up four that's correct four and eight add constraints that looks good so for click on the ISO uh, you know what let's align this thing a bit here to the lens with this ISO selected click on the pin button again give uh, you know what actually this should be eight yeah you can see the alignment lines which show up click on this and also you can select the sh select both iso and shutter speed click on the uh, pin button say eight add constraints that looks good so now uh, select all the ui elements your labels like uh, iso camera focal length and this one um, select vertical centers add three constraints now with this ISO selected we haven't given any um, constraints for that over oh, yeah, here we do have uh, some constraint leading space is 8 align center y okay so let's give something for the top and to the right so if you click on the pin button again 10 to the top element and 18 to the right add to constraints that looks good uh, with this camera selected again click on the pin button 8 9 should be fine 8 just you know what let's make it 10 add 3 constraints then click with this thing say update frames those are fine but this one is giving some issues you can say update frames here now everything is good um, do the same for the shutter speed as well click on the pin button 8 uh, 8 is already there 8 the thing 7 to the bottom and 10 to the, 10 to the right add 3 constraint now everything looks good the next thing what we need to do is uh, go to the UI uh, page table view table view controller go to the identity inspector and just uh, we need to create uh, sorry before this we actually need to create a photo list controller so command n coco touch class next it should be a subclass of ui table view controller table view controller call it um photo list controller 
and then hit next I have already created that file so I won't create it but once you have that uh, file created uh, click on this uh, table view control here go to the identity inspector and say photo list controller here and the same thing for this thing for the uh, for the photo cell for the table view cell so if you click on if you hold shift and right click on this it will give you a bunch of elements which are below that uh, uh, your table view cell or below, below that element select the UI table view cell then go to this identity inspector and give it as a class of photo cell that's good so if you go ahead now you, actually at this point of time you can't you can't run the application still so what we need to do next is uh, open up this assistant editor and with these elements selected what we need to do is select the photo cell what we can do is we need to do a control drag from each of these elements onto the photo cell like poster image view uh, camera blur, blur view and uh, shutter speed iso lens everything uh, for all the ui elements on this thing but now i already have this established but you can go ahead and do that if you think this like doing the control drag from here is difficult you can actually even open the side pane and directly do a control drag from here image view onto this poster image view and you can see that there are a few auto layout constraints it says camera is missing wide position okay that's right we actually need to uh, select this shutter speed and camera and then do a vertical center add constraint now are all there are no auto layout constraint issues so I was telling you that we can actually do a control drag from even from here onto the photo cell so once you have all this IB outlets created we'll go into the photo list controller and I'll explain what's there in that uh, file <clears throat> in the photo list controller we will actually uh, create an instance of photo manager if you followed the last blog uh, you might know that we created an instance of a photo manager which will deal with getting the data from 500 pixels and like creating a model out of the JSON data which is returned um, and uh, we can use that model data in, uh, in, in our uh, photo list const uh, controller instead of directly dealing with JSON. So the photo manager all it does is it gets the uh, JSON data, parses it and create uh, converts it into a, a photo model and then returns it back. So the photo list controller, what we do is we get the manager dot get photos and then we'll search for all the photos with tag as sunset, only nature photos. And this is image size is four. It means that if you look at the 500 pixel documentation, image size four means it's a high quality image. And also we'll tell that results per page is 100. Uh, then uh, in this uh, photo list controller, we have a manager. We have a list of uh, photos. And then once we get the data, we assign the photos, which is returned from the callback to our instance variable, which is photos here. And then we'll do a table view reload. Uh, most of the other code is like boilerplate reload, where like number of sections in table view is one, uh, the number of uh, rows in section. If uh, this photos is not null, we return the total number of uh, values or the photos within that photos array. Otherwise we'll just return zero. The next thing is, uh, oh, okay, before we do this, I need to show you one more thing. We we have this photo cell as uh, the identifier. So we need to set that up in our main storyboard. So if we go to the main storyboard, select this uh, shift and select the your table view cell, then we have this custom class as photo cell. This is right. And then we need to give a custom identifier also as photo cell. This, is, this should be the same as what we are using the photo list controller here photo list controller uh, we get um, uh, we basically dq a reusable cell with this photo cell identifier and um, we basically this i'll tell you why we need to set this thing up but for now we um, get the photo object from the photos array then we set like camera lens shutter speed iso and so on and so forth this uh, particular line is really interesting because uh, we are using the extension or the category created by AF networking 
which will help us load a image asynchronously um, using a URL like a image for the URL in our case um, so for this you can just go to the AF networking uh, library and then you can find more information about uh, how um, the image views are like the how they create the um, UI image view extension or category for loading images asynchronously uh, at this point of time if we go ahead and run this since I already have that set up it should if you go ahead and run it it should look something like this this is how the final uh, application should look like if you have set up everything correctly uh, I was telling you why we need to have this particular image uh, this line if we comment out that line and run the uh, app again I can show you that For some reason, the photo dot camera is null. Actually, I shouldn't do this. Stop and cancel command. Run it. It's already running. Come on, come on, on. Let's see if it runs. So the, I'll tell you the reason why we need to set this thing up. Since we are using the reusable cells, for example, uh, if there are multiple cells in the, the table view, right? Like the first cell we have, we already, if we have already set up post image, when it comes to the fourth cell, we might reuse the first cell there. Uh, in which case we, it will show up the image which was already loaded. And if you don't want to do that, huh, unexpectedly found a null. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's because I know I know the reason why this is happening. The reason why it's happening is we have a parallel rows. This is what I use to show you how to set it up. But this was the instance. Since I don't have an IB outlets for all of these things, it's trying to go ahead and uh, use them which is making it fail but if you go to the other one which we have already set up and then do a command r in which case we should see something like this so i was saying this is the first image right so if you go faster sometimes you will see this image which was loaded previously uh, so if you want to avoid that we need to set this particular line wherein every time you use a cell just uh, make sure that the image value of the UI image view is null that way it loads asynchronously and till that uh, image is loaded asynchronously it will show some blank image which might be more preferable so if you can see this there are there is a white photo sometimes and then this looks good so you can even see that this visual blur is uh, uh, it's making the app look really nice so here we can see that this photo was taken with Nikon D800e with the ISO of 3200 and a shutter speed of 1 by 400 focal length of 102 um, so this way it's actually like more useful for uh, a learner uh, like a beginner in photography uh, to see oh th if you if I really want to uh, take a picture like this I could uh, myself set these kind of uh, settings and see how the image will come like um, this, this is not the perfect thing but it's really good for inspiration uh, for more uh, about this uh, particular episode you can actually check out my blog uh, wherein I'll be like explaining in depth about um, how we are actually using this photo list controller and how to set up the con uh, constraints if you are if you didn't follow uh, when I showed you um, in this video um, thank you guys um, Please stay tuned for more uh, tutorials. Thanks.